Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a new subscriber, so I am so excited. Let me first say, I've watched so many mukbangs, and I do have my favorite people, and I will shout them out at another time. I just want to introduce myself. Um, my content will be food, cocktails, and talk about it talk it out and talk it through. I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Juanita and my uh, channel name is That Hood Girl 2 as well as my Instagram page. If you do like my content, don't forget, forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, ding down, ding down, share and like and also I want to read your comments. Let me know what I can do better and what I can cut out. So I'm a talker and I am so ready. Let me tell you what I'm going to eat and then we can say prayers and then we can eat and then I will introduce me to you. And if I can call you guys my hoodsters, we're going to be family. So let's get ready. I'm having some uh, white potatoes, um, red bell pepper. I need to do a, a bigger setup, I think, as well. Um, I have some shrimp, I have lemon, I have egg, I have Dungeness crab, and I have uh, uh, my favorite snow crab. Now, uh, seafood is a love of mine. However, I make this great dish, and it's called lowball. So if you guys know what the lowball is, tell me how you do yours before I introduce you to mine. So, with outdo let's say our prayers father god thank you for this food i'm about to eat may it bring nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body in the name of jesus i pray you are awesome god thank you so much now my cocktail is um some uh amsterdam vodka some uh cranberry juice and grapefruit juice as my doctor's trying to get me from so much cranberry so i had to incorporate but it tastes really good, and I have a uh, squeeze of lime in it as well. So uh, we're going to be toasting. So a toast to you. Now, I've seen so many people do this, but I want to do it as well. I'm a great cook, uh, too. So let me see. How can I tell you I need you to take a first bite? So. That's that hood girl shrimp, that hood girl, that one and only hood girl. You got it? Is it good? Yes. Now, my sauce I found um, from a, um, a chef on uh, Facebook, and I used uh, sugar. I used chili paste. I used two uh, sticks of unsalted butter. I sprinkled in some paprika. I used onion and garlic, um, soy sauce, salt, sugar, but I put it all in the description box below, as well as my Instagram page and my email address. I know I have to get a P.O. box, so, you know, that's going to come with time. And I'm looking forward, so forward to learning each and every one of my hoosters coming aboard so i'm so excited i'm so excited so let me start eating and uh well no i have to do that uh thumbnail right <laughs> here we go um i want to do it with my cocktail and um maybe my snow crab so There we go. Whew. I do have to agree with every one of you guys who have been on this YouTube for so very long. This is a lot of work to prepare all this food. I still need to learn how to do my setup. So I need some more things that I need to purchase as well. Because I want my food to, you know, really show... Um, I do. Whew, so if I'm if I'm if I'm 
steady talking out, I'll never eat willow. <laughs> but that's what I'm learning too with all the YouTubers as well. So, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that stuff is good. It really, oh. It's spicy. That chili paste is spicy. Mmm. Mm. It's messy too. I have to adjust something. Am I cutting myself off? Jack off. Okay, let me introduce myself. Uh, again, my name is Juanita. I have three hood boys. You know, that is our last name. So I call them my hood boys. They are, you know, I, I have to remember. Um, 35, 37, and 39. I have five beautiful grandchildren. And I don't think we need any more grandchildren. But let me just uh, tell you guys about me, my hardships, my triumphs, and where I am today. So, I was born and raised in Houston. I am a true Houstonian girl in Third Ward uh, with my mom and my father at that time. My grandmother had... Uh, some juke joints. Uh, I guess we can call it some juke joints back in the day in the hood. And uh, my favorite thing before everybody came in, you know, those older people, you know, y'all remember um, those pickle pig feet that back in the day, them juke joints had them pickle pig feet right on the corner of um, of the bar. Well, honey, let me tell you something. I love those pickle pig feet. My grandma would say, Juanita, don't you eat another Pickle pig feet. I'm going to whoop yo. Uh, uh, uh. And I was like, yes, ma'am. So anyway, my mom and dad had a, you know, a trying marriage as so many people do, even back in the days. He liked a lot of women, even the ones that stabs from us. He got that lady pregnant and then he came home and told my mama, that that lady was uh, pregnant with with a uh, with his baby, and so can I tell y'all, my mama shot his ass. She shot him. She sure did. It wasn't funny back then because I was so scared. We, it was me and my sister, and I think one of our brothers, um, at that moment. But I do have one sister and three brothers, and a host of nieces and nephews as well. My father has since passed away. My mother is 76, and she is still growing and blowing, if I tell you. But my mom, I think, you know, back in the day, even, even today, nobody had the instruction book to be a parent and to raise children. But even in back there in the 60s, that was still that racial thing with the, you know, the brighter people, the see-through people, the darker-skinned people as me. And um, it was in our house as well. My father was a six foot man, very dark skinned. And my mom was this high yellow, look like a white lady. And she had told me a story that when they moved from Louisiana, well, my dad is from Marshall and my mother was, is from Church Point, Louisiana. And they had came to move here. And my mother rented uh, one of the duplexes in Third Ward. And when it was time to move in, the landlord came and he saw my father, which was a dark black man, and he did not allow them to move in. So, you know, we had to move in with my my grandmother. Oh, excuse me. So my mom and dad divorced. Um, we moved a lot, a lot, lot, and. Life wasn't always so easy, as y'all know, back in those days. And so, my mom, I don't think she liked me and my sister. We were girls. I don't think she really liked us. And especially, um, I think, and I may be wrong, that because of my sin, she, I think I reminded her of my father. So, you already know. I don't have to go through that. So, um... At the age of 13, I'm going to fast forward, people. Um, my, we, we, my mama had, we had three brothers, as I said. And her, the oldest of the boys, me and my sister are the oldest. 
of the bars. But the oldest is really good. But the oldest of the bars, he didn't like me. Because I guess he had heard so much about color in the house. Oh, Lord. This is so good. So, um, I was doing chores. I was sweeping the hallway. And he stabbed me with a pencil in my arm right here. I still got the scar. And I hit him. I must have knocked his out at 13. I think he was seven or eight, maybe. He stabbed me with that pencil because he didn't like me. I hit him. And my mother was on the phone talking to a friend. Mm. Oops. <laughs> and so she said, let me get off this phone. This B-I-T-C-H done hit my son. I'm thinking like, really, woman? I was, I was a child. I didn't say that, but um, I need a bag. Um, so she went outside, and you know, back in the day when we we, we did laundry, we, we had to hang them outside on the line back there. <laughs> and so um, she went outside and she cut a. Oh y'all, I think I overdid my shrimp. This this scan. It's sticking. Um, she cut a, a, a line off that wire. Uh, mm, mm -mm, just too much round. Um, out the clothesline. But I didn't know that's what she was out there doing. But when she came in, that lady. You know what? I, th this sauce is really good. Whew. Um, she whooped me. And you know, those lines back then were so wiry. And then, you know, it, you know, you know, when she hit you hard enough, it, it cut your skin. And you know how you feel that burning sensation? And she kept whooping me and whooping me and my body felt like it was on fire. And at 13 years old, I'm thinking like, oh my God, really lady? And I, and, and, and I didn't know what to do. And you know, she didn't hit my, she didn't, she didn't chastise my brother for stabbing me with the pencil. She beat my behind because I hit him and her boys were always her favorite. So y'all, I am not eating. Um, and I don't know. I think I blinked out, y'all. I, I think I, I, I think I, I, I blinked out. I'm for real. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Mm, I'm like, um, I'm like, see, the connection. I have that stuff on my mouth. It's on my chin. I don't know my, mm, I don't know my chin. Wow. Uh, I blinked out, and when I came to, my mother's head was in my hands, and I was knocking her head into the wall. I think that that pain was so intense, I lost it. So that was my first day at 13. Becoming a homeless girl. My mother told me, you get your such and such a such a such a out of my such a such a and such a house. I was afraid, y'all. I'm like, what am I going to do out here? I kind of want to go. My father, I didn't know where he was. And at that time, my sister at 12 had already left the house as well and pregnant as well and if i can say that's after um yeah we, i'm gonna have to tell y'all a lot so my first night out on the street i slept on the street i was 13 years old and the only thing i can think about well 
How can I go to school? I mean, I wanted to. I wanted to go to school. Yeah, all these crafts are sitting up here waiting on me. Now, KC Connection, girl, you, you can, uh, you can crack these crabs. So I'll, I've eaten them before. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> Ooh, and that uh, sauce. It's spicy. So anyway, I slept on the street and I, I was wondering, you know, what am I going to eat? I have no clothes to wear. I can't go to school stinky. So if anybody know Third Ward, y'all remember CUNY Homes? Back in the day across the street from uh, TSU? Mm-hmm. Well, I found my way over there, and I had a, I met a lot of people who realized that I was sleeping outside, you know, because, you, you know, you go to a place where so many people, so you won't feel like, you know, you, you out there alone. So, mm. oh my God. And so, that's good. Uh, mm. Oh, a few people took me in. There's one person that took me in. He was about, oh, that'd be my pow pow. I don't, I don't, he didn't want anything. I think that, you know, he was poor as well. And, um, I really need something to put this stuff in. I don't want to move though, because I'm on the road. So he took me in and the first thing he told me, I don't know where you go to school, but you're going to go to school. But if you're going to, I'm, I'm not going to let you stay here forever. But, you know, if I do, um, you're going to have to cook. So I'm thinking like, I don't know how to cook. I'm 13 years old. I better know how to wash my ass. So the first thing that he had me to cook was some smothered liver, some rice and gravy. Well, let me tell y'all right now, <laughs> nobody can beat me on a pot of rice or a pan of some other liver with mushroom gravy, baby. Yes. So anyway, um, he did. We went to Salvation Army and we got me some clothes and uh, I was able to go to school and school was so important to me as well. And so some bad things happened to me as well. I don't want to stay with him a certain amount of time because, you know, back in those days, you know, if you're not on the lease, you can't stay. So, I had to leave, so I kind of went from house to house to house. Come on, come on out of there. Come on. Yeah, it ain't coming. So, uh, so I found myself sleeping on the street again. So one day, I was walking down the street, nowhere to go, and I ran into my sister who had been gone like forever, seemed like, right? And she was crying. She ain't had nowhere to go either. And it was so sad, y'all. Okay. I have two girls. Homeless. So. After me and her spoke, I was walking down the street and lo and behold, this man was coming toward me, right? And he passed me. And, and he spoke to me. I don't know if I look like look like I ain't had nowhere to go. I don't, oh, look at that. I, I, don't, I don't know if back then it's that young girl. Mm. I don't know if he saw that I ain't had nowhere to go. But he passed me. 
Mm, my God. And uh, I didn't know he was going to double back. And he snatched me by my neck. And it was this feel out there back then. Because, you know, back in third world, back in the day, it was open land. And um, in certain areas. Especially out for, down there for Live Oak. And um, he raped me. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. So I'm going to take you back to room. Because I knew at least if I go to the emergency room, I would be attended to and I would also have somewhere to sleep and I would have food to eat. So I'm going to stop that right there uh, because I don't want these really long videos to start with. I am going to be posting my videos probably three days a week until I get the, the hang of what's going on because I really want y'all to get to know who this hood girl is. So... You know, again, please subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell, ding down, ding down, and uh, come eat with me. You know, come come celebrate with me. Come and listen to my story because I think it's book material. And um, I'm so ready to share, you know, because I, I am a living testimony from so many hardships. And, and good what? I'm here. Still alive. So I want y'all to hear my story. We're going to probably laugh. We're going to probably tear up a little bit. And then we're probably going to do some hallelujahs. <laughs> mm-hmm. For real. But in the next upcoming weeks, I want to implement a Talk To Me Tuesday. And I want, I'm, I'm going to instruct all my hoosters to um, send me your triumphs and your downfalls on my Instagram page. And that would be also in my description box <laughs> below. And, um, and we, we'll do some, you know, talk to me Tuesdays where we will talk about it. We will talk it out. And we're going to talk this shit through. Well, do, can I cuss? I don't know. Uh, some people do. I don't know if I should. But anyway, I have enjoyed. I haven't eaten a lot, so I'm going to have to get in, in the habit that. Like like I hear B-Love and KC Connection and. Oh, -hoo -hoo! Look, 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 I sure wish I could see in this bowl. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. And I did get the, 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 the lemon thing from um from B Love as well. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man. That was good. Whew. Excuse me. That was good. Well, um, I'm glad I had this time with you guys. Again, this is my first time. I would love for some criticism. Let it be positive criticism as well. Let me know how I can change things. Uh, what what uh, things I can buy to enhance my videos. And yeah, let's just do this thing together because we're family. So thank you so much for having me in your space. I look forward to another day, another topic, another way. And so thank you so much for sharing time with this one and only hood girl too. Good night.